Hey guys, this is Doc, and this is kind of a follow-up video on the Bermuda Seed video I did. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the planning and testing that I'm doing. Plus, I also decided to do an overseed on the world's worst Bermuda lawn. What the heck? Always got to play around. Hold on. Hey guys, I'm exhausted. <laughs> It's incredibly hot out here. I'm working on five videos at the same time. Click the subscribe button. You don't want to miss them. I got a bunch of stuff coming out. And we have the mystery machine, which I'll be unveiling later this week, I hope. So click the subscribe button and don't forget, there's a bug flying around in my lens. And don't forget on the website is the subscription service. You're gonna to wanna to subscribe over there. We don't use it for marketing. It's a notification service. But we're going to be doing something special with that. So you go to the website, look for subscribe, you just put in your name and email address, and uh, we're going to be using that for something special. So let's talk about what we're doing today. Uh, in the description below, I'll put a link to either the other page or a new page where um, I list these seeds in case you want it, and I'll link to the little spreader that I use as well too. But I had my crew come over to do some work today. I'm scalping down my lawn because guess what? After four weeks, I see rain moving in. It looks like we've got four days where we have a 40 to 60% chance of storms coming in here. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. So we may have some rain coming in. I could stop being Mr. Waterboy. But my crew came in and so I, they have a dethatching machine. I shot them real quick, dethatching that patch over here that I'm doing a fresh seed on. I killed it off, I put fresh seed on there. And then I had, uh, I ordered an extra big bag of blackjack uh, Bermuda grass. So the world's worst Bermuda lawn is fried. I mean, all the lawns here are toast because they don't have irrigation systems. So I decided, let's overseed. They have common Bermuda. Let's overseed that with blackjack Bermuda. And so I put that on film too. So it's just a short little video about me seeding, a couple little tips. This isn't going to be an Oscar winning video, I can tell you that, because I'm so hot and so tired and worn out that I just grabbed a camera, whatever camera I had, and shot some footage and put together some tips real quick. The main thing being is, this is sort of a flip of the coin project over here because there's no irrigation over there. I'm just hoping that the weather patterns hold up where we get at least a couple of rains a week because I'm not gonna go over there and water this with my hose. So who knows, we'll see what happens. We're just, I'm just sort of playing with it just to see what can come up. So I'm back here cutting and my crew pulled up um, I've got my crew here to pick up a bunch of junk that I've got and to trim a, trim a tree out here. And I know they have a, a, a dethatcher. So I wanted them to dethatch that area before I seeded it. So he's here, he's going to grab it and he's going to dethatch. So basically, let me show you what a dethatcher does. You can see that it's just sort of stirring up like a quarter to half inch here. It's not, it's not tilling. See what it does? It just opens that up. Now we've got the fertilizer in here sort of mixed in. That thing has a series of blades in it that just sort of spin and it just tears into the ground. This is what I use, and I'll put a link to this on the website. This is a hand seeder. Your hand goes right through here on the hand seeder. It has a little, has a little handle on it. And this is what I use. I use this, um, we used to, my son, my son likes to hunt, so we have a couple food plots, and we use that for clover. Clover is a real fine seed, but it also works for Bermuda. Now, some people say that you can mix sand and the Bermuda seed and put that in a spreader. I've never had consistent results with that. Um, I, don't, I don't believe that you should do that. I don't believe that you should mix the sand and Bermuda seed and then apply it. 
it's inconsistent. You don't know how much seed is going out. I'd much rather have you just take that and just walk along and just spread it. So I guess I'll drag the camera along over there in the scalding heat. It's got to be 90 some degrees over there. I'm exhausted. All right, so I just had a brilliant idea. I've got a lot of Yukon here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an experiment. The world's worst Bermuda lawn is common Bermuda. I'm going to overseed their common Bermuda with this Yukon since we've got some rain moving in. Oh, cool. Let's see what happens. It might be cool. And just so you know, this is one pound. This is one pound of Bermuda seed. There's the way I counted. There's 800,000 seeds in this. Um, I got to be careful. It's a little bit windy today, so I have to watch my spray pattern. But I'm just going to walk back and forth and put out one pound in each one of these strips. The next thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a regular wide leaf rake and I'm just going to run it back and forth just to sort of stir up the seed a little bit. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here tonight with a hose and lightly mist it and that'll sort of lock it in place. Uh, hide it from the birds, hopefully hold it in in case we get a heavy rain. And that's about all you can do. Like I said, I don't have irrigation over here, so who the heck knows. it four more to go see you in hell <laughs> all right so i was wrong uh the big bag i have is actually blackjack so i'm gonna reseed i'm gonna overseed the world's worst for me along with blackjack i don't know what will happen i'm gonna try it Why is my hand blue? Because <laughs> you don't forget, you gotta, you gotta do your sidewalk strips here too. Do your sidewalk strip, save a little seed for that and just put it out. Damn it, some pretty feet. <laughs> Actually, I just wanted to show you, I'm taking the lawn down again. And why am I taking the lawn down again? cut it again today because we've got rain coming in and Mr. Water Boy can take a break. Anyways, Doc's exhausted. <laughs> that was a long day, man. Oh, it started at 5.50 this morning and it's 7.30 right now. It was a long day. So let's summarize. Number one, make sure you go to the website and do that subscription stuff because we got a a big fun announcement coming <laughs> and you want to be subscribed over there next when you're putting down Bermuda seed really you got to have irrigation because you've got to get water to that you've got to keep seed moist every single day the only reason I'm putting it down now is like I said I got like six days where there's a good chance of rain all this time this is just a gamble folks there's no guarantee because I am not I'm spending a ton of money water in my lawn I'm not gonna go over there and start watering that seed so we're gonna see what happens now the world's worst Bermuda lawn I've left a lot of the clippings on that grass so there's probably a pretty good chance that that'll take and that'll be interesting let's give it four to six weeks and let's see what happens I'll start cutting it short and we'll see if that blackjack comes up because that'll be really cool a lot of people out there have common Bermuda and want to switch over to a better quality Bermuda and so that's an important test. That's actually more important than probably the test strips is to see if that blackjack will take over the common Bermuda if I start cutting it low. Again, no irrigation system. Anyways, guys, make sure you subscribe. Talk to you later. I'm gonna go drink about a gallon of electrolyte-filled waters. Talk to you later, bye.